Okay, continuing. So Max has um, basically four parts, roughly four, four parts. One is called Max, which you have been um, learning, um, and MSP, which is audio, M uh, Max signal processing, MSP. And then there's Jitter, which is um, graphics, interactive graphics. And then most recently, Max for live, Ableton Live has been added, which makes Max um, run inside Ableton uh, for those of you who are live users. So I'm going to move on to the introduction to MSP. So let's go ahead and type a, oops, type a, um, let's go in on here, um, is it play? Oh, I cannot type. Is if play. Is if play is a MSP object, and if you look at the um, help file, play audio file from disk. Okay, so as you notice, you have a little tilde, I'm going to make it a little bigger, tilde at the end of word SF play. Anything in Max, um, uh, I mean MSP audio, all the audio objects have a tilde at the end, so you know what this is. Okay. Um, you can take some arguments, and this, and this time I'm just going to put two, which makes it stereo. So now let's look on the top, it says start, stop, cue, and all that kind of thing, open, whatever. And on the bottom, it says channel 1, channel 2. Okay, so uh, we'll worry about that later. That's like a bang when it's done playing your sound file. Okay, so I'm going to go um, connect the um, uh, toggle. And let's play something. Nope, no open file. I didn't put anything. So when... Uh, uh, Max console window prints something red, which means uh, um, that means it's an error. So you know what went wrong. Oh, I don't have any open file. Okay, so what you want to add is a message box. Remember the message box without the sandwich on the top? So we just say um, open. This is the this is the message, this guy, right? Message. So you go ahead and connect it. And then now you need something to go out to the world. So let's, um, well, these days people use this uh, Max for Live object. And uh, if you click on this little triangle, the pull down menu, this thing called Live Gain, you can just pull it down here. And uh, Live Gain is um, Disable Volume Slider and Monitor. Uh, so channel 1 goes to channel 1, channel 2 goes to, this is channel 2, right? So channel 2. And notice now the patch goes between this SF play tilde and live again tilde, which is a audio object because it has a tilde on it, are connected by this sort of a tiger tail like yellow and black thing. So when you see um, this patch cord, you know, patch cords, you know that these are um, audio connections. Okay, so now um, I need something to go out in the world. So let's see. Uh, we are right here now, and if you click on this plus sign at the end, uh, you see all the uh, categories. So there's like a basic, audio, data, image, interface, jitter, and we what we need right now is audio, and you see the microphone, and you see a, a speaker icon. This is what you need. This is called Easy DAC, Digital Audio Converter. So you just drag it out, or you can type Easy DAC. Oops, it went to the side. So that's, that's the, it does the same thing. Anyway, so over here, um, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so here, only I like uh, live uh, again very much. Problem is, see this outlets? There are so many outlets that you don't normally need. So be careful to connect these guy. This the first one from the left is channel one, and the second from the left is just channel two. It's easy to make a mistake when it's so close together. So that's what I don't like about it. It's like ugh. Anyway, um, lots of bugs happen there uh, for lots of people, so uh, make sure that's that. Now, let's uh, play. No, nope, still no open file. Oh, now we have to open the file. Remember the message open that we just sent uh, uh, connected? So I click on it in a, a non-edit mode, click on it. And I have some uh, files here, right? So you can you know, AIF or WAVE or MP3, I think now you can read it. I just have this track, so let's play. 
no sound. Why? Because audio is off. Uh, in a Max, um, you can turn the audio in a few ways. You can actually click on your uh, Easy DAC speaker icon and it lights up and that means the audio is on. Or you have a little power button here. You can click on that one and the audio is on. Usually this is really easy to do. A third way to do is you can actually go to the audio status, which we don't do it right now, but uh, uh, you can you have a little another uh, power button here so you can turn the audio that way. Okay, so let's turn the audio on. Uh, this might be loud, so okay, and now I can play. See? So you can stop or start. Right? So that's how um, it works. Now, that's awfully interesting, but that's all it does. <laughs> so you can um, actually do other things, such as uh, connect a attribute. So attribute is the way the attributes to the, um, um, the um, de decides how the, um, the object um, works. So in this case, uh, you have something called attribute, which is in here, I think, data maybe, yeah, here, attribute. You can type in attribute, or the shortcut for this is A, right? The funny thing is um, attribute box has no, does nothing, it says nothing, unless it's connected to the object that it's attributing to. So right now the attribute is connected to SF Play, and now watch, there are so many things you can do. For example, you can change the speed, one as a default, like a normal speed, right? So if you try to play that, it's a normal speed, and you can speed up. Or s slow down. Right. So you can do that. Except that, uh, did you hear that uh, when the speed was uh, faster, the uh, pitch went up, and slower, the pitch went down. Uh, you can also do a loop. Uh, loop is off, loop, you can turn the loop on, or anything off. Um, so let's do something. Uh, I'm going to add another thing called time stretch. So turn on time stretching. If this attribute is on, uh, what just happened won't happen. Um, either you speed up or slow down, the pitch remain the same. So right now, this is a normal speed. Going up, it's so high, or really slow, so low, but then Turn the time stretch on, let's speed up. So, see, the pitch remains the same. So anyway, so you can do things like that, okay?